Good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs and as you can tell this week Colby's not amused <laughs> and we're getting ready with a whole lot more packing. How you doing bear? How you doing? Are you starting to whine? Why? You still got the cone life. You didn't choose the cone life, but the cone life chose you. So he's doing well. His wound is definitely starting to look better. Still a ways to go, and he's not happy about being in the cone still. Oh, he's gonna, you just got a little hint of the wound. He just gave you a little, a little peek <laughs> at it right on, it's right under that leg. That's Colby, how he feels about today. Mike's pulling things out of storage and I am starting to pack the kitchen items that I know we won't use between now and when we move. Getting pretty organized in here. This is our pod staging area. Looking pretty good. Mike's bringing down a bunch of stuff. Making progress. Okay, man. Another busy day of packing. Got that full of kitchen stuff. I also packed that bottom box that's full of kitchen stuff and this box that's full of kitchen stuff and we still got more to go for the kitchen but obviously I'm still gonna cook for the next couple weeks so not everything got packed just the stuff we don't use all the time still got to do all our mugs and that's not even all the mugs some of the mugs are in the other part of the cabinet kitchen gadgets like the coffee maker the toaster oven that kind of stuff that we're still gonna use in the coming time so Oh man, packing takes time, but we're chugging along. We're getting pretty good at this. Mike and I did a count at one point, and I think he has moved 19 times in his life, and I've moved 18 times in my life. Whatever the numbers are, he's one ahead of me. We are both pros at moving. We've done this a lot. <laughs> so that's the good thing at least, is we both know what we're doing. We're good at wrapping things. We're good at packing things. We're pros at this, and hopefully, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to move from the rental house to the house we end up buying, but hopefully after that, we don't move anytime soon. <laughs> hopefully once we have our house in Florida, we are settled. All right, so we got wings for dinner tonight. I got gold fever and pineapple cayenne and a salad. Noodle arm gang. This guy's like, man, I really wanna be part of this, but I don't have noodle arms. But I really want to be part of it. I'll just stand here. This is why I love Destiny. Just this random stuff like this. <laughs> Kelsey's loading in and she can't noodle. <laughs> there we go. Yay! <laughs> One of us. So I haven't vlogged much today, but we are having Asian peanut rice noodle stir fry for dinner. The veggies are stir frying as we speak. And then I'm gonna play some Destiny with Brittany and Jordan as usual, our Sunday night. Took a day off from packing. Haven't had anything to vlog because I've been editing the vlog for tomorrow. So that's what I've done all day, watch Survivor. <laughs> I thought the power went out for a second. I was like, oh, <laughs> confusion, just a troll. So we're gonna have dinner, video games, and then back to packing tomorrow. There's our noodles with all the veggies and a peanut sauce. Kind of plate it up and enjoy. And there's the finished product. Looks good. Perfect, yep. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I punched you. <laughs> oh, as I threw my Nova bomb <laughs> into the so abyss. Close, right? <laughs> Look at my poor little donut head with his smooshed little face. It's a built-in pillow, Colby. 
everywhere you go. It's like a travel pillow. I am not amused, mother. Not amused. Sunday night, and I realized I hadn't actually talked about this on camera yet, but early this morning, Jeremy, who is my ex-husband, messaged me to let me know that our dog, Rory, passed away. So she just had her 12th birthday two weeks ago, July 28th, was her 12th birthday, and he messaged me, and we talked that day, and I knew she was struggling. She'd been having a rough time pretty much all year. Um, so he and I had talked on her birthday and kind of went over the health problems she was having. So I kind of already knew that she was likely not going to live that much longer. So the message this morning wasn't a shock. She just kind of took a turn for the worse last night. So he took her to the vet and went ahead and put her down and I'm glad that there was a sign that, that was the right decision to make because I know it was weighing very heavily on him on should he go ahead and put her down? Was it time? Was she still having a good life with all the health issues she was having? And although it sounds like it was a pretty scary night for them last night, he at least has closure of knowing that it was the right decision. Obviously, I think it would be much more traumatic for me if I had still been with her day to day, but I haven't seen her since 2014 when Mike and I took our trip to Colorado. We took her for a night. I can link the vlog here. That's the last Rory vlog. But if you go way back on my channel, I started vlogging when I still lived with Rory. So there's a lot of old, old vlogs that have Rory in them, but I hadn't seen her in six years. I've seen pictures of her over the years, so I do know what she looked like as an old lady. But I kind of mourned the loss of her when Jeremy and I split up because I let him <laughs> take her. I say let him because that's the only thing in our lives we were gonna have a custody battle over because we didn't own any property together or anything like that. I knew that she loved Colorado and she loved the snow and he was her person. As much as she loved me, he was her person. So I made the sacrifice, let him take her. And so I did most of my mourning at that point. And I will always say, and I will stand by that statement, that the hardest part of the divorce was losing her because obviously he and I had our issues. We're humans, we can talk to each other, but leaving her and not being able to explain to her why she wouldn't see me again was heartbreaking. And she was my first dog. So that was very, very tough. I definitely shed some tears this morning when I saw the message, but it's also closure of knowing that she had a very great life in her final years. She had a fantastic stepmom, and they have two daughters, so she had two little girls that were doting on her and giving her lots of extra love and snuggles through her final years, and I know that they gave her a great life, so. That's my Rory girl. And tonight, I'm going to snuggle these guys a little extra, much to Colby's dismay, <laughs> in her honor. Some extra puppy snuggles, right? He's my boy. Some extra snuggles for your older sister that you never knew. So happy Monday. I just finished putting together my planner stickers and I started filling out dinner plans. I figured I better film it before I ugly it up. There it is before. So I'm packing, big shocker. These boxes are fantastic. Mike's parents got them from Home Depot, but they're wardrobe boxes, so it's got a hanger in it. And then you just close it up, and it's just, just so smart. I usually do the whole garbage bag technique where you put a garbage bag over your clothes, cut a hole for the hangers, tie it up at the bottom, but these are all my dresses and all my like work sweaters. So I got all those in one box and I think I'm gonna put all my work clothes in another box and uh, see how much else I can fit in there, but that's fantastic. Perfect for the dresses because they can just get folded in the bottom and then they're not hanging out the bottom of a garbage bag. So, hey, hey, brilliant.
All right, so I filled two wardrobe boxes and that took out pretty much everything. I think if I get one more wardrobe box that my sweaters and these will fit in that and then this is the clothes I'm going to pack in a suitcase to have with me because I'm not quite sure how long I'll be living out of a suitcase. So I've got those plus a bunch of t-shirts and shorts and stuff that I'll pack. All of that hopefully will go in another wardrobe box and three wardrobe boxes for my entire closet. I'm pretty impressed because as you guys know, I have way too many clothes. The good news is that because of quarantine, I have purchased one shirt since March and it was from Stitch Fix. Um, I have a Stitch Fix arriving this week. It's only my second Stitch Fix that I've gotten the entire time during quarantine. I purchased one shirt from my last Stitch Fix. Only other clothes I've purchased since March has been t-shirts, like universal t-shirts, my own channel t-shirts, the RIP tour t-shirt. So kind of proud of myself that I have done zero shopping since March. So all of this is stuff I've had, but I think one more wardrobe box, because it doesn't go back as far as it looks. They're just sweaters, so they're just kind of bulky. So fingers crossed. If not, one more wardrobe box and one garbage bag, and I'll be good to go. Look at how empty. All my shoes are already gone. These are all the shoes I'm planning to pack with me. Getting crazy. So it is Monday, and it is technically our dating anniversary today. We've been together for seven years. However, it's a Monday and Mike had a ton of meetings today. So we're gonna celebrate on Wednesday and tonight I am just going to make dinner as usual. But I am making our last Marley spoon for the week and it's going to be butter basted steak with herb, garlic, roasted potatoes and baby peppers. So at least we're having some nice steak for dinner for our anniversary. And we decided to put off our fancy dinner for Wednesday. But it's just a little more convenient for both of us and we can actually, you know, have a nice little date night. So that is the plan. And there is dinner. Looks and smells delicious. Hello, happy Tuesday. I am out at the grocery store waiting for them to deliver the groceries to the car. Having the realization that in like two weeks or so, <laughs> I don't have an exact date for when I'm leaving, I will have Publix back in my life full time. All of the Publix goodies, the Publix deli, pub subs, Publix cookies occasionally, Publix fried chicken occasionally, <laughs> Publix ice cream occasionally. <sighs> There's so many things I love from Publix and I'm just so excited to have Publix back in my life. Kroger and HEB have gotten me by. HEB is okay but it's no Publix. And this Florida girl is so excited to have Publix back. Oh, I haven't talked about this. I am more than likely going by myself now because we went ahead and scheduled Ash's tumor surgery because why not fit a few more things in our schedule before we leave? We don't wanna have to get to Florida and immediately find a new vet and the first thing we do with the vet is have major surgery on our dog. So we're gonna go ahead and have Ash's tumor removed on Friday. And Colby has a checkup appointment Friday evening. And tumor will be removed. He'll have a few weeks of recovery. So Mike would be here making sure that all our puppers <laughs> are well tended to. Colby's wound is looking so much better. He's gonna be in good shape by the time I leave probably still will have the cone on but I think he'll be close to being healed by the time I leave. Ash will have a few weeks of recovery. His in theory will just be stitches and obviously he's not that great about having wounds so watching him to make sure that he doesn't pick at it. Yesterday was our seven year dating anniversary and we were originally going to order chimichurris which is our favorite restaurant in the area and then Mike had a bunch of meetings so we're gonna do that tomorrow night instead. It feels like no time has passed as far as us being together, but also a lot of time has passed because we've been through a bunch of adventures and long distance. Like I can't even fathom the fact that we did almost three years of long distance now that we've lived together for four years. Like it's really hard to think back and realize that we really did that. We really did almost three years of long distance traveling back and forth and only seeing each other like once a month or once every six weeks. That part of our relationship is so long ago now that I can't even believe we did that. <laughs> but aside from that, 
the part that gets me is the fact that we've aged, like our ages keep going up. That's the part that gets me because Mike was 32 when we started dating and now he's gonna be 40. What? How did that happen? You love having the bed on the floor, don't you? Sorry, Bean. It might be like that for a little bit when we were in Florida, but it's going back up eventually. It really will. So you remember that time in a vlog, maybe like three weeks ago, I was all getting back on the health and fitness train. I didn't really think that through. I didn't know exactly how soon we'd be moving when I made that statement, but one, <laughs> I can't do Tabata and actually pack or move anything because Tabata makes my arms and abs and everything complete jello. So it's physically impossible for me to do Tabata and then try to do any sort of physical activity for the next two days. Tabata's out. Don't have space to do Zumba at the moment. And we're on a farewell Texas tour. So we're eating out a lot more than we normally do. So I'm amending my statement to say I am on a farewell Texas tour. Got about two weeks of probably having a lot of cheat nights around here to clear out our freezer, to try to go to all of our favorite places before we leave one last time. And then when I get to Florida, we're gonna be better. Obviously I'll want to say hello to some of my favorite Florida places, but I think once I get established in the new house, I can get back into Tabata and Zumba because I can do that anywhere. I don't know what I was thinking trying to start actually following a diet and exercise regimen right before moving. So I'm having salad for lunch, being healthy at lunch, but I'm pretty sure for dinner tonight we're going to do a freezer clean out. So it's going to be like french fries and bagel bites and a bunch of different frozen item foods just trying to clear out some stuff from our freezer. So <laughs> healthy. Check out this gourmet dinner of checkers fries from the oven and bagel bites. Really, really healthy tonight. Okay, so I just finished filming my next two Flashback Friday videos. Gonna get a little ahead of the game. So I'm filming this week's and next week's and then probably this weekend I'll film two more just so I have stuff just in case with the move. I can film something when I get there, but I just want to be ahead of the game and not have to worry about it. My stitch fix arrived, so I'm going to go try that on. And then in a little bit, we're going to order chimichurris and have our belated seven year dating anniversary dinner. And I am very excited for champagne risotto. It is the absolute best. And one of the things I'm going to miss about Texas, the absolute most, is the champagne risotto from Chimichurris. Uh, there's no way I can replicate that one. I'm not gonna be able to make their risotto. I'm just gonna have to savor it tonight. I think we're probably gonna get two orders of it so we can have some leftovers because it's just that good and we won't ever have it again. <sighs> Stitch fix time, who's ready? It's been a very long time. <laughs> Let's do this, try on. I already have the shorts on. Let's go see this look. So these actually fit well and they're very soft. I am quarantine pale right now and I mean, I am always pale, but it's like another level of pale at the moment. Like I don't know that I've ever been this pale. Moving to Florida, so there's a chance I'm gonna see the sunshine again and maybe these will look better. Since they are so soft, I think I might keep them and just know that I'm gonna get a little more sun when I get to Florida. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm back to my own shorts and this is top number one. I wasn't so sure in the box, but I feel like it's actually pretty cute. I love navy. I think it really brings out my dark eyes. And I like the little neckline. This little detail's cute. It could work for work for sure. I'm not sure what my work situation is going to be like in the future. I think it's cute. We'll see how much it is. We'll see how much I end up choosing from the box, but it's a contender. Definitely a cute work contender. I like the little detail up here. Okay, so this is top number two, and here's the thing. I think it's really cute. I like the cut of it. I love a v-neck. I love the sleeve length. I like this little ruching detail on it. Oop, 
it's coming undone. It is a little tight at the moment, which is no surprise because I have gained some COVID weight that I will have to lose when I get to Florida. So a um, little tight, but even if it were just a little tight, I would keep it because I know I'm going to lose the weight back. My issue is that this fabric, I don't know, I'll have to look at the tag and tell you what it is, but it is so hot. This is the stuff that just, I'm immediately on fire putting it on, unfortunately, and it just would not do in Florida. Like I would burst into flames trying to wear this in Florida. So I'm gonna tell you what the fabric is, but it's a shame because it's a really cute cut. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. It's the polyester, it just, whew. I might be laughing at how much this one is not me whatsoever. Uh, the little ruffles off the shoulder, not me at all. <laughs> this is not my personality, not my style in the least bit. It's a cute shirt, but I would never ever wear this. I, like I should be wearing another shirt under it and then this is my apron and I'm going to make dinner. This is a no. So I just went and showed Mike the shirt as I always do. I go, I show it on the camera and then I go show him and this is what he brought me when he saw it as we're laughing over it. He brought me a stein. <laughs> That's definitely what it feels like. Oh no, no, no. So I saved this one to the end because I thought it was gonna be my favorite because I absolutely love this color and I don't like it at all. I feel like it just looks really frumpy. I thought it was going to be like one of those casual, cool, over baggy shirts that just looked effortless but the sleeves are hitting at the spot I hate. If they were like down to here, it'd be perfect. And I think if it was that length, it would be giving me the look I like. But as I've talked about before, I don't like cap sleeves because it cuts off my arm at a weird spot. And I just don't feel like this line down the center is doing anything for me. I just feel like this is super frumpy. And so now I don't know if I wanna keep anything from the box because I liked the navy blue shirt, but not enough to keep it by itself. I liked the shorts, but I don't know if I love them. I'm gonna look at prices first, but I might send the entire box back. Yeah, disappointing. So there is my plate. I made it look sort of like what they give you at the restaurant. Looks so, so good. We got crab meat, the Chateaubriand, the shrimp, the veggies, sauce, and champagne risotto on the table. And we got the plantain chips with the chimichurri sauce risotto, extra crab meat, the Bernays sauce, the crab sauce, yum. So it's much later in the evening, but it's time to enjoy their chest leches, which is so, so, so good. I'm very excited for it. So hello, happy Thursday. Upstairs in the office, obviously, going to do some editing, but I'm also starting to pack my office, which makes me sad because Oh, this means it's getting real. So I wanted to go ahead and videotape this corner because I'm gonna start taking things down. This corner you guys didn't see very often. It's kind of in the background when I film the flashback videos, especially now that I moved the studio lights. But my little shelf with my work folders and some nerdy items, some pop punkos and the awesome wand holder that Mike got me for our anniversary or Valentine's Day or one of the holidays. <laughs> they all blend together, but I love it. So time to start taking things down. And I know that little banner is going to fit in the box I have. So all of this is going to eventually come down. Not yet for this, but I'm working on, I'm not even going to show you my desk right now because it's like such a mess. I've pulled everything out of the desk. I'm packing my desk at the moment. So I've got space, which means I'm going to start pulling some things like the go bolt sign might come down, but all of this is going to go together, obviously. So, and I still have all the boxes for my Funkos, so they will go back in their boxes. Exciting, but also sad. There's a cicada right there. Thankfully it's outside. I just had a mini heart attack. Do you see the cicada? You guys can't see the detail of it. Unfortunately, it's just making it into a blob. But this, the little blurry section down below is the wings, and that's what I think is messing up the camera. But if you play Animal Crossing, look, I found an actual cicada. <laughs> and it's quite large. 
it scared me for a moment but it is outside it is just a giant cicada and my camera refuses to focus on it but there you go animal crossing folks cicadas in the wild and i am watching that florida guy's vlog while i'm packing Whew. all right they're freaking out white dog is going by but that's like five minutes outside it is so 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 hot here What's your problem, sir? You were outside, it's hot, huh? I bet, it's extra hot with the cone on. We had the donut for him and he figured out how to make it loose enough that he could lick his wound. So, caught him immediately and he's back in the cone. So anyway, um, oh, let's see what to talk about. We just moved some extra outdoor furniture we had the table and a couple little accent pieces because Mike's parents are having a garage sale tomorrow. So wearing masks, it's gonna be really hot. Don't envy them, but thankfully they were willing to take a bunch of our items. And so Mike is taking stuff over right now. We already took the table and chairs over. He just took a couple more items. And so I was helping him load it into my car and that happened. Going to make us some dinner. I think we're gonna have some leftovers from last night and we're gonna snuggle Ash all night because he has his surgery tomorrow morning. And so I think we're both a little nervous about it. Obviously, anytime your dog goes in for surgery, it's scary. And although it's his paw and everything should be fine, it's still cancer removal, it's still a tumor. It's kind of scary. By the way, we moved Mike's desk yesterday. So he is back in his office. I'll show you in a second. We've got the dining table there again. And so we've got extra boxes. These are all empty boxes left to pack. Hi! Oh, oh. And then we've got all of this packed up. And now he's got his desk here in this corner. So, desk with all the stuff. Will you sit? What a good boy. All right, so here's the before. Oh, there's a cone. <laughs> and a close up Colby nose. Hi! You've been slobbering all over your cone. They're all worked up now because dad left. So it's not the best timing to show you. I'm sure I'll show you again later. But there it is, the before. <laughs> mom, pay attention to me, mom. I am your favorite pup. I am your baby. He has been extra mama's boy today. Like literally everywhere I've gone, except for upstairs, because I don't think he trusts himself going upstairs in the cone. He has followed me and plopped wherever I've been. Yeah, you following mama today? You mama's boy today especially? Yeah. My sweet boy. So anyway, everyone, you'll know an update because I'll film tomorrow night. As far as Colby, obviously we'll get an update from the vet tomorrow as to how she thinks it's going. But for us, we think it's definitely going well. He's still got a deep wound which is hard for me to describe without being graphic but basically the area where the infection was was very deep so he's got probably half an inch deep of an open hole and then probably about two inches wide of a wound that is healing so the wound is looking great it doesn't look nearly as scary as when he got home. When he got home, it looked like he had just got slashed by a knife and we left it open. It was terrifying. <laughs> now, that skin is starting to get close to being healed, but the deep part has to heal from the inside out, which is why she didn't stitch it up because then you just would have had a giant hole in there. Just gotta keep it clean, keep him from licking it, and keep putting the ointment on it that basically creates a barrier so that nothing gets into it, so. That's Colby update. So tonight we're having some leftovers from last night plus some more freezer clean out with, with these Pioneer Woman goat cheese bites. All right, Ashton, it's time for bed. We're going to bed, sir. And then Dad's going to wake up early with you in the morning. We've already gone outside, boys. We've already done this. We already did this. We had to do it early tonight because Ash couldn't have any food or water after midnight. And now they're all thrown off because normally we do beans medicine right before I go to bed. But I had to do it before midnight so that Ash could have cheese with the boys. And now they think they're going to get out again and have more cheese. But it's not going to happen. 
It's bedtime, Coney. It's bedtime, Coney. Come on, Ash. Come on, it's bedtime. You gotta get your beauty rest before your big day tomorrow. And I'm loving on you now because I'm sure I will still be asleep when Dad takes you early tomorrow morning. Yeah. You'll have a good day tomorrow. Okay. Mama loves you. So hey guys, happy Friday. We're about midway through the day. 2.30, waiting to hear news from Ash. Haven't heard anything yet. Dropped them off this morning, obviously. Staying busy. I've got all my clothes packed, so my closet is pretty much empty. And a project I found we're gonna have to do something about, because the previous owners, I guess, had different shelving systems in here. And I don't know what they did. So yeah, I'm down to just the things I'm bringing on the trip. Exciting! We've also reached the point where I'm going to start packing my Funko Pops. So, say goodbye to them for now. These guys are getting packed up. Including all my Star Wars ones, my Disney ones, my Doctor Who, and there's all my Star Wars Vinylmations, my Jack, my Jacks, plural. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna start packing up the Funkos because I have all their boxes. Their boxes are in this closet. I just have to take the time to put them all back in. Well, it's looking different here. It has begun. Most of the collectibles all packed away. I'm gonna have a different box that has squishy stuff and my Disney ears because I've got a stack of ears down here. Not done in here, but we're making progress. This room is uh, getting there. And that's probably Mike home to pick up Colby because it's time for Colby's appointment. We've been running things back and forth to his parents' garage sale all day. So we actually just took over, or he just took over, the end tables we had downstairs because we we're planning to get rid of those and those lamps. So he took those over to sell and we're gonna bring these nightstands down to use as our end tables in the meantime. So this room is making progress. This room is down to basically just the furniture that we're going to get rid of and a few empty bins. We're getting there. Empty bins here. A cute little Colby bear there. My wardrobe boxes are full. Packing station going. <sighs> and the saddest part our fridge is empty. I took down all the magnets today. It looks so bare and empty and sad. In other news, a quick BB22 update for my Big Brother fans out there. I did watch the last two nights. Was not surprised Keisha went home. And then today, the feeds have been down all day because they're doing that safety suite thing. And I just hope that Nicole decided to play in it because Memphis was definitely talking about putting her on the block. He was talking about putting her and David. So. Fingers crossed that either Nicole or Kevin played and won the safety suite and hopefully Kevin will save Nicole. I just do not want Nicole on the block in the second week. That would break my heart. I don't think she's gonna make it this far this season because I think there's already a strong dominant alliance between the cool kids as happens every year apparently. <laughs> I started watching Big Brother at a point where the cool kids always win I guess. So the cool kids are gonna dominate. Nicole's working with Janelle and Kaser right now, which I love, I love Janelle and Kaser. So I want her to work with them, but they're gonna have to figure something out to get on the majority again because they're already having to work from the bottom. So. And then there was one. We've got only one dog at the house right now. What do you think, Bean? He's like, I don't care, I just had dinner. I'm just gonna lick my bowl and uh, only be a little bit mad that every dog has gotten to go for a car ride except for me today. Sir Ashton is home. He's now concerned about dad. It's okay, you don't have to get up just because dad got up. But he's home. Oh, oh. Dad, dad, I have to be where you are at all times, dad. As you can see, he's hobbling around a little bit of it like a tripod at the moment, but surgery went well. She was able to get most of it out. And he'll just be hobbling for a little bit. I'm sure it doesn't feel good. Where are you going? 
Thirsty. Thirsty. I want some water. She was able to get most of it out. Uh, just some that was around the bone that she couldn't get to. So pretty sure it's going to end up coming back. But hopefully we've bought some time before that happens. She was kind of shocked by how fast it grew in, which we were too because it just took off. But she did say that we should be able to do another surgery again in the future if it does come back. So all good news. He's got some stitches. We can watch him, make sure he's not looking at it. I assume he probably will later because he is kind of an obsessive licker. But for now, he's cone free until he starts messing with it. This guy also got checked out. He's got another probably two weeks of antibiotics to go because he's still got that, that wound. I was wrong. I said it was about a half inch deep these days. It's still over an inch deep. So, wow, he's exhausted. <laughs> he won't even stay awake for this conversation. So we're gonna keep doing the spa treatments, more antibiotics, but she said it looks great, it's healing well. So he got a gold star. And Bean, you just uh, you just keep doing you and don't injure yourself, okay? You just stay healthy, wonderful, adorable, brat, cute little dog that you are. Just, you do you. Oh boy. Oh God, that is a face of total hatred. Oh no, we got matching cones. <laughs> New two are such brothers. Oh, he's hating life. It'll soften up. It's a little stiff right now. Oh God, no, 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 no. What is, what has he done to me, mom? Colby. You two can match. Oh no, oh no, and he's drunk too. That's not helping. Colby's like, what? This has been my life for two weeks. I've adjusted. Just accept it, man. It's another tea bell night over here. Looking forward to having tea flats when we get to Florida, but tea bell tonight. So Mike got the new grilled cheese burrito, so I thought I'd vlog that so you guys can see. I guess it's not so new anymore. It's been out for a little bit, but grilled cheese burrito, quesarito, chicken quesadilla. I did quesarito, a taco, and a chalupa. Dinner, we're being so healthy this week. Don't judge, we're moving. We have two dogs injured. <laughs> Don't judge. Christmas won the safety suite. She saved Ian. So Memphis put David and Nicole on the block. I haven't seen Nicole yet in the feeds to know how she's taking it. I'm obviously very concerned because Nicole is my favorite. I don't want her going out week two. Whatever he said was apparently really rude to David and he was already rude to David last night making him a have not. But it's enough that David is crying right now and he's in a room with pretty much the rest of Memphis's alliance and they're all hugging him and comforting him. I don't know what Memphis said, but Wow. Dang it, Nicole's crying too. <laughs> I'm blowing her nose. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it, why do I watch this show? This just brings me pain. Okay, it's late Friday night. It is bedtime around here. We got everybody in bed. Yeah, good boy. Leave it. Ash. Yeah, lick the squirrel, not your paw. Good boy. We don't want to have to put the cone on you. So it's time for bed around here. And we will see you guys again next week for the next weekly vlog. Bye.